Hey guys, I'm Carrie DeFalco, and this week in the Cucina, we are celebrating a new year with an old traditional recipe. We are making brigotte cheesecake. The thing I love most about old traditional recipes is that they're this great game of telephone through the generation. So this recipe comes from the neighbors upstairs when my dad grew up in Jersey City. So Grandma Scaglione originally had this recipe, passed it to my grandmother who made her own few tweaks, passed it to my aunts and my mother, passed it on to me. And everyone kind of has their own little way of doing things. But for the most part, the recipe has essentially stayed the same. Now, because this cake is so liquidy, you want to find um, one of these inserts. And this can go in a springform pan, or this is my grandmother's original pan for it. I don't even think they make these anymore. But obviously, this has seen some, uh, some love over the years. But you want this tube to kind of be able to get the center of the cake baked as well, because otherwise, it's going to take forever in the oven. So we're gonna butter this and coat it with some graham cracker crumbs. To make our cake batter, I have three pounds of ricotta cheese, fresh ricotta, that I've been straining for at least an hour because you wanna get all of that liquid out of the cheese because again, it's already a very liquidy batter, very liquidy cake, so we want to try to make things as dry as possible. So you can do this on the countertop for at least an hour or you can even prep this the day before and set it in the fridge overnight to really get that liquid out of it. So we're going to start by mixing the three pounds of ricotta with two cups of sugar. Then we're going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla. We're gonna add in eight whole eggs, one at a time, and you're gonna mix each one in, so do them individually. I have one 10 ounce jar of cherries that I strained because we don't want all that sugary syrup in with our cake, but we do want the cherries and this turns the whole cake a beautiful pink color. Try not to get the maraschino cherries, try to get real cherries in syrup. And we're gonna fold in one cup of mini chocolate chips. Now we're gonna pour our batter into our prepared pan. What I love about this cake with those cherries and the chips, they're gonna sink to the bottom and they create two beautiful layers of delicious as the crust essentially of this cake. It's so amazing. Before we put this in the oven, we are going to dust the top of it with some cinnamon. We're gonna bake our cake at 350 degrees for at least one hour, and then we're gonna check the texture of it. So it actually took us about an hour and a half to fully cook the cake. After that hour point, you just wanna give it a little shake, see if it's still liquidy or not. If it's very liquidy, let it go for that extra half hour. At this point, we wanna let it cool completely on the counter, and then we're gonna refrigerate it overnight because this is a very moussey, custardy cake, so you wanna let that set up in the fridge uh, for a few hours before you actually cut into this and serve it. Guys, if you like this recipe, be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. You'll never miss a bite from the Cucina. That is it for this week. I will see you guys. Happy New Year. Here's to a wonderful 2017 for all of us.